From the OUTV Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, California, this is Brief News Brief, a brief look at today's trending news topics. Proudly combating the thought police since 2016, here's your host, James Heaney. I'm James Heaney, and this is your Brief News Briefing. A fleet of planes and submarines are arriving in Guam to defend the U.S. territory from North Korean aggression. Yesterday, it was reported that North Korea had miniaturized their nuclear weapons and were considering a strike on the U.S. In response to this, Trump raised the stakes and rebutted by saying that the United States would respond with fire and fury and power the likes the world has never seen. And it turns out this speech was improvised. And if you know much about me, you'll know that I'm an improv teacher. I have taught level one students. I've taught level six students. I've seen level one improv that was incredible, but I've also seen level one improv that maybe somebody needs some more work. And I would just say, Donald Trump, that was the shittiest improv I have ever seen. And that's coming from a damn expert. North Korea has long had the military power to attack Guam and the state-run media started to discuss that possibility yesterday after Trump's threat. Is this just a strongman standoff, or is this the beginning of the war that will end all life on Earth? Stay tuned. Paul Manafort's house was raided with a search warrant from the FBI and Special Prosecutor Mueller in connection to the investigation to the Russian collusion in the 2016 presidential election. This is being reported this morning, but this actually occurred in the early mornings of July 26th after Manafort testified before the special prosecutor. We're just now learning about the raid, but we have no information at this time of what may have been found in Manafort's house and what it was that the FBI was looking for. It's being reported that two House staffers were sent to London in order to track down Christopher Steele, who is the man that composed the Trump dossier. Apparently, no one knew about this trip. The congressional investigation didn't know about it. The special prosecutor didn't know. Sounds like the staffers wanted to pluck, pluck Steele out of London to have him testify before the congressional committee. If they can't pluck him out of London, then they just really want to sit down and talk with him right there in London. This dossier Steele put together is, of course, the one that contains allegations of the famous PP tape of Trump. Oh, no! Another high-profile battle of the tweets rolled out this morning. Sean Hannity took to the Twitter to call Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell weak and spineless, hours after McConnell vowed to stop all petty political disagreements in light of the new tensions with North Korea. Nearly 14 hours before Hannity sent out the tweet, Hannity himself vowed on his own TV show to stop the petty political disagreements for 12 hours. It blows my mind that he could... I guess... I guess being petty about politics is as addictive as the opioid epidemic. And some of the scariest news that's about to rock our world, Disney announced yesterday that it would be leaving its deal with Netflix and launching its own streaming service. Disney plans to launch a direct streaming ESPN product, and Disney also announced that it's withdrawing its entire television and motion picture library from Netflix. Netflix shareholders could be justifiably terrified. But the magnitude of what this will mean and what's gonna happen, it's just gonna take time for manifesting. But I don't know, I don't picture myself as a Disney subscriber. But if they take Daredevil, if they take Jessica Jones, if they take the Defenders! 